Salaki, I got a phone call. I know this is gonna be like a three, four part video, so Salaki. But uh but yeah, these these women are, are are totally off, man. And they're they're leading our men to destruction. They're and they're, they're, and that's the problem. They're not supposed to be leading. But now I'm gonna get on you men real quick because at the end of the day, I get it. Some shit you just gotta do, man. You know, we in Babylon, so some shit you just gotta do so your women don't be tripping, but you know, I be trying my best not to, uh, you know, do no, do no kind of wicked shit. You know, I was with my uh, Eve yesterday. And she was getting something for her mom for Mother's Day and shit. And, you know, she was like, you know, saying, saying some stuff that she had to do and all this. And I was like, my bad. I wasn't even thinking about that. And she was like, you know, she, a part of her got upset, you know, because I'm not, uh, my mind wasn't thinking that tomorrow's Mother's Day. You know, we be so oblivious to these holidays now. So they, their mind was, uh, her mind kind of like like damn like he don't think the way that i do you know we don't reverence nothing but you how about shimmy out shy man we give the heavenly father all the glory man we don't give glory to these people man or woman or child man all right this is uh first ezra is four and i started 25 wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother you know and that's why it says a man is supposed to leave his house and cleave unto his wife all right, but men love their wives, man. We love our women, man, and that's something that people don't try to get us confused with, man. Try to make us seem like rapists, in which which we don't uh, take part in, you know. Try to make us seem like we're bad men to our women just because we we speak down in this society. But hey, these Israelite these women that are uh, joined into these Israelite men right now, shit, they getting treated better than half these other women out here, man. And in Babylon, when we ain't got shit, man. So men love their wives better than they father, more than they father or mother. You know? Uh, I forget what it says, but roughly Paris, or like a beauty of a woman is, uh, is, is pleasing to a man. You know? But it also says stumble not at the beauty of a woman, man. Okay? Verse 26. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. So you got these dudes out here breaking their backs to please these women tomorrow, man. They about to be buying them shit, taking them out, uh, you know, uh, doing all types of uh, wicked nonsense, bringing them cakes, gifts, balloons. What's that? That's a sacrifice. That's uh, incense being burned. OK, it says, uh, you know, they're running out of their wits for them, doing everything uh, uh, for, to serve. It says become their servants, doing everything they're not supposed to, man. It says many also have perished and erred and sinned for women. So men are going to sin uh, to please a woman, man. You know, we try our best uh, not to uh, not to sin against the Heavenly Father. But these men are here like, hey, fuck it, man. I got to, you know, I got to do what I got to do to make this woman happy. Okay. It said because they, these women, they get wicked when they start acting like that. This is Sirach 25 and, uh, and 16. It says, I'd rather dwell with the lion and the dragon than to keep house with the wicked woman. You know, these wicked women out here, if you got a wicked woman, shit, man, it's, it's, you, you're in a bad situation. But the Lord said he giveth a righteous woman unto a righteous man. So that's why we're trying to stay with the Lord as best as we can, man. Hoping that we, you know, the Solomon said out of a thousand men, he found one righteous man out of a thousand women. He found out one that was righteous. So if you get you something that's uh, close that's, that you that you can dwell with. Hey, you got to hold on to that, man. Because a wicked woman will fuck you up, man. It says the wickedness of a woman changes her countenance, changes her face and darkens her countenance like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors and when he hear it, it shall sigh bitterly. You know, I used to live near neighbors that have a Jake out here, women out here running in the streets, smoking weed, fucking everybody. Um, they women being wicked, yelling outside in the streets, not keeping a business in the house, you know. A, a quiet and a humble woman is a, is a beauty unto his unto her husband. It says, "All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her." So that that's what that's what's going to uh, happen to these women, man. You know, they're going to get that portion of a sinner for thinking that they're gods. Okay, I'm going to jump down to verse. Uh, I'm going to just keep reading. It says, as the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the age, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. You see that? So a wife shouldn't be full of words. A wife should know, should know when to stop talking, man. 
It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire not for desire her not for pleasure. So just because you see a beautiful woman don't mean that's where it's at, man. You got women out here that don't look that great, but would be way better than you, man. So if you can find a beautiful woman and she's um and she's uh, more meek and more uh, humble, that's a gift. You know, it says a woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, anger, impudence and much reproach. So these women that are with their men a long time start to get more angry more upset you know full of reproach want to get over on him want to do something bad to him all right a wicked woman abated the courage make it a heavy countenance with a wounded heart a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress make it weak hands and feeble knees man women are supposed to be a pillar of comfort your wife is supposed to be a pillar of comfort to you man not more distraction not more uh you you deal with the world and esau all day then you want to come home to a woman that's comforting all right it says, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her, we all die, man. You see that? Through the woman, we all die, man. So this, this womanly mother, mother, a queen of heaven spirit tomorrow, hey, a lot of men are going to give up their wits and become servants, all right? We're all dying uh, because of this, the wickedness of the woman, man. They think because, they be like, you know, I even had this woman come out of camp one day. Oh, the Messiah can come out of my belly. Well, he didn't. All right. And no, it says uh, uh, my, uh, mistress women shall bring forth monsters, man. These women nowadays are bringing forth little wicked demons, man. Matter of fact, where is where is that? Uh, I'm trying to think of the scripture. Oh, is this a rock? Uh, Bear with me. And this is uh Sirach 16 and uh one desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. That's the only reason you're supposed to be wanting to have children, to have children that had a fear of the Lord. Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. For one that is just is better than a thousand, and better is it to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. So it's better to die without children than to have a whole bunch of a thousand little wicked ass babies, man. All right. Uh, I'm going to just finish up on Sirach 25 and 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. So these women out here that just want to go out and be around everybody, be around a whole lot of men, go to all these clubs, do all of that wicked shit, man. You she ain't supposed to be doing all of that, man. A woman's place is supposed to be at the home. All right. It says, if she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill, bill of divorce and let her go. So if she don't, if, if a woman just want to be wicked out here and fucking other men and, and, and going out all the time and doing whatever the hell she want. Hey, give her a bill of divorce, man. Let her go, man. Let her go. There's other women out here. But if you got a good woman that's, that's not gadding abroad, that's not going out to these clubs, that are not doing all these type of things. Hey, hold her close to you, you know? But if she's not, hey, let her go, man. Let her be another man's headache. All right? I'm going to just read this, uh, uh, Sirach 26. Blessed is the man that hath a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be double. A virtuous woman rejoices in her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. See that? That's a man want a virtuous wife, man. His years are going to be double because she's comforting on him. She, what they say, stress kills, man. Okay? A good wife is a good portion which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord. Okay, so uh, these women out here, they don't fear the Lord, man. They're feeling false deities. Who you call? Je Jesus is not his name. Yahweh is his name. Jesus is a so-called white man who they show you in these churches. But the Lord, Yahweh is a so-called black man who's coming back for, for sl to slaughter, man. All right? So you got to know the God whom you serve, man. Uh, Sirach 26. And uh, I start reading that six. It says, but a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman and a scourge of the tongue, which communicates, uh, communicated with all. So these women be jealous over these other women tomorrow. Best believe women, mothers going to be hating on other mothers for what they did, what they doing for them, what they got, what they man did for them, all of that kind of stuff, you know? 
It says, uh, an evil yoke, an evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. And he that had hold of her is as though he held a scorpion, man. So you got an evil wife, man. It's like you got a fucking scorpion in your hand trying not to get bit. It says, a drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger and she will not cover her own shame. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. These women out here got these fake eyelashes on, batting their eyes, tooting up their butt at every man that walk by. It says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. These women who are able to go out and do whatever they want, man, you gonna, it's going to bring shame upon you. So you got to keep them in the house, keep them around family, keep an eye on them. This is that overprotection of the father. It says, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. These men are, they, that quiver is um, her vagina and she, an arrow is the man's penis. And these women are opening their legs to every man. But if you find you a good one, a decent woman, you got to hold on to that, man. Because these women are, this is what that Mother's Day, all these women be about that shit, man. All right? The grace of a woman delighteth her husband, and her discretion will fatten his bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. That's what a man looks at, a, a, a silent and a loving woman, man. A shame face and a faithful woman is a double grace. So there's a double grace if you get that, man. And her continent with mind, uh, her continent mind cannot be valued. All right, you you can't uh, you can't compare that, man. It says, as the sun when it is rising in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. So a woman is supposed to be ordering her house, man, taking care of the children, taking care of the house, being silent, being loving, cherishing her husband. You know. So um, I want to get. I think I'm gonna wrap it up with this last. You know, I'm not going to get that one. I'm, I'm going to leave leave that with that. But I'm just I just want to say, man, this Mother Day spirit is a heavy demon upon our women. OK, and when it comes down to it, the main message is serve the Heavenly Father, man. That's the whole uh, duty of man is to serve the Heavenly Father and keep his commandments to the best of your ability, man. Not not worshiping yourself, man. Hey, we had to give up. We shit. We used to uh, be a part of Christmas and and New Year's and all that kind of shit, too. And birthdays get self-glorification you know but we glory not in ourselves we glory in the heavenly father and son and the things that are to come all right so lord willing this lesson was edifying i want to give all glory honor and praise not to women but unto yahweh by some yahweh shai by shama kakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and mercy to the house of david the elect until next time lord willing shalom